I'm out here today to actually trim some bittersweet. Uh, it's a wild vine that grows here. It's indigenous to our area. And actually I have to look to make sure that it's not the invasive species, which would be the oriental bittersweet, because that would be bad to spread that around. But I'm going to make a bittersweet wreath for a friend of mine and maybe a couple friends of mine. So enjoy, stay along for the trip, maybe learn something new yourself. Morning, my friends. Wow, I'm out to the park today and they've done a few improvements here. They put a gate on the far end of the parking lot so people aren't just here loitering. We had lots of problems with, I think, maybe drug transactions out here or people smoking or doing things they're not supposed to do and trash dumping. It's a big deal. So they put some new gates at the front of the parking lot and they reset the gate in the back, which is really nice. Or they put a new post. I'm not sure which one it is, but. I really appreciate that because I use this park a lot. I love this park. Looks like they came out and put some gravel down here on the roadway so it's not so muddy to walk on. It's a beautiful day here in Michigan. The sun is out. When I pulled up, I could hear a jay calling. I could hear the female cardinal making some noise. All sorts of great things. I hear mallards on the pond. Just saw a little black squirrel run across the trail up here. Well, here's something else over there. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really great to have all these wild critters chirping and making noises. I really appreciate that they put the gravel down on the road. It makes a big difference here. It used to get so muddy. This park is used for a lot of mountain biking, and they put a lot of mountain bike paths in, um, but it's used by a lot of hikers as well. So. When you come back here in the spring or the fall after we've had the rain, this main road to come in is really, 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 really wet and mucky and has holes. So the gravel's made a big difference. All right, I know that the bittersweet is down the path here a little bit. There's quite a bit that I saw. It's the best way to find the bittersweet. There's, it's on two parts of the trail up here. I can't remember, the trail kind of splits. And I can't remember if it's on the side on on now or if it's on the wire trail or I should say the easiest access I'm also looking for a piece of really dry funky wood <laughs> for a project and you'll see that later too I, I'm just not finding what I want there but I think it would be really cool to have you see that oh gosh <laughs> there are hundreds of them out there so the biggest challenge is that the native bittersweet, which is okay to harvest and use, uh, has a smooth branch where the oriental bittersweet has small thorns on the branch and we don't want to collect and spread those seeds. So I'm going to see what I can get for some bittersweet. I see some right there. I wonder if I can get to that one. That's a nice spray. And uh, I will, I will see if, uh, I can get to it. Oop. Big hole. <laughs> All right, well, there are several other areas to find the bittersweet in here, and other areas right over here. So let's go see if we can find another good collection of it. It's a little tangled in here. <laughs> it's trying to take me! I don't want to become part of the park. At least not a permanent part of the park.
So there's my basket you can see. And let's see uh, how the reeds look when I'm done. This is going to be a really simple reed to make. You've gone out, you've collected all your bittersweet, you've collected some wire. You can make it just from wrapping the bittersweet itself. It's a fairly flexible vine, but I'm gonna use a little bit of this twine covered wire that I found at the local craft store. Um, I like it because it looks like the vine itself and I think it will make a nice base. So it will give me my starting point for the wreath. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it, because I haven't done that yet. My cat's over here trying to get involved with the video, so we'll see. Dexter, get down. Take the length of wire that you want. So this is probably between 18 inches and two feet. And I'm gonna straighten it out. So again, it gives me that base. could have used floral wire for it but chose this wire instead because I thought it looked a little more natural and you just make a, a loop a circle and you wind it up on the end right here like this and the same thing on the other side and again just there make a nice circle shape like that all right now we can take our bittersweet and I'm gonna take pieces there are some bigger pieces in here, but I'm gonna start with smaller pieces and see what I get out of it. I may be using more of the wire to wrap it, but I wanna see how it looks as I'm gonna to start to wind it around. And I'm just gonna take the bittersweet, if I can get it apart. All right, I'm not gonna start with that piece. That piece doesn't want it to come apart. So I'll start with this piece and see if I can't get this to wrap around. And I can. I'm just going to go back and forth again the wreath of the divine is very flexible so I'm just going to tuck it in and out wrap around this wreath form back and forth I'm going to lose some of the outer husks from the bittersweet but I don't know that there's a way to not do that got the first one wrapped around and I don't think that it's a bad thing to have some of these stray pieces. If you don't like how long they are, you certainly could take the clippers or your scissors and trim them off. Uh, I don't think that's a big deal. I don't mind it as much, but I'll trim a couple of them to make it look cleaner. I'm probably gonna start on a different part so that my ends are not in the same location. Uh, I will do the same thing though. I will go in and out around the wreath, trying to wrap this as well. And if you find that part of the vine doesn't want to stay, you just bend it back yourself. And again, any twigs that you don't like, go ahead and trim them off. So there's a second one, not too shabby. It's really starting to take shape. And a bittersweet wreath is often very sparse, I guess. I don't think that they're as full as some of the other wreaths that I have seen.
So what do you think, my friends? Is it full enough? Would you add a bow? Maybe some jute? Maybe build it on a grapevine wreath or some other type of wreath base? I think this was the easiest way to go. It's free, it's cheap, I only bought the wire, and I probably could have made do with florist wire, but I really like that this wire is hidden within the wreath because it looks much like the vine itself. So take some time this year, go out, enjoy nature, find some bittersweet yourself, and make your own wreath. If you do go out and harvest your own bittersweet, and then you make your own wreath, please share it with me. I'd love to see what you guys do. I think this is a great little gift. I think this is a great little project for the winter. It doesn't take a lot of time, and it's a great way to get out and enjoy nature. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a happy holiday.